Hey everyone, it's Graphic Back with another video, and today we're going to be talking about how to make a lot of money in New World. We've had this discussion quite a bit in the past, however, with a lot of new players coming to level 60 now just recently, I want to kind of re-mention some of the best ways to make money in New World. So the first things we're going to start off with is kind of more of an easier grind. It's going to be that beginner grind of Greenwood, Cool, Hysip, Iron Ore, Fibers, and any kind of really raw materials or raw mats or moats. So if we take a look at some of these, let's look at uh, let's look at moats for example. We've looked at moats many times before. These have continued to be at a decent price if you continue to gather them throughout your time in Eternum. You saw the fire moats there. I think at three, uh, yeah, three gold a piece. Earth moats at one gold, and you get a lot of these per moat you collect. So I do want to take a look at iron ore. This has always been one that has done fairly well. You can see right now, 0.43 gold a piece, iron ore, and so many other low tier fibers and you know resources that are selling for these prices of about 0.4 gold. It's very easy to get. Anybody can get them because they don't require a high level trading skill or uh, you know gathering skill, and that's why this is the easy grind of when it comes to how to make money. Now let's get into the steady income. Getting all your gathering and refining professions to 200 and crafting your daily legendary mats equals a lot of profit really. So if we take a look at Asmodium for example, Asmodium is one of the dailies that a lot of people are crafting every single day as they are legendary materials and you can do so with Orichalcum ingots, Tolvium, Cinnabar, Obsidian Flux, and of course Charcoal. It's going to craft you an Asmodium which is selling for about 241 gold right now. We can also take a look at things like runic leather and others as well, but you can see infused leather, smolder hide, scar hide, and aged tannin create you that runic leather selling for about 141 gold right now. And these do fluctuate in price quite a bit, so you can stack them and wait for the price to go up if you think you can play the market in that regard. But it is definitely very steady income crafting daily legendary mats and just using your cooldowns to ever uh, you know everyone else's advantage basically and getting you know yourself a lot of gold stacked up while doing so another way to make money in this market is something that i kind of mentioned there just a second ago but i don't do too too much myself because i typically lose in this regard but playing the market buy order cheaps during the week sell orders high on the weekend and you need to know the game to actually take advantage of this this is an easier way to do so and make sure you're going to make money is by like i said buy orders cheap during the week and then sell orders high on the weekend a lot of people coming back during the weekend will buy these at much higher prices just wanting that products right away so you can do this with about anything depending on you know what's coming and you also have to know as well with patch notes and things like that if you keep up with patch notes you keep up with the btr changes you can make a lot of money when outpost rush came as well when i was like level 60 first time on this server or I, we were on what were we on chrysilia back then i knew outpost rush was coming and you had to use your own potions so of course what did i do i bought all of the health potions up the price of health potions on uh chrysilia went up to about 15 gold 20 gold a piece and I sold them all at like 15, 20 gold a piece as I bought them for like three gold the, I don't know, a couple days before. So it's just crazy. You have to know the market a little bit to make money on the market. But you can see right now health, po health potions at 0 0.04 gold a piece. I think they could do some changes to this in the future. Don't, don't mark my words on that, but this could be a lot of money to be made, I think, for sure. I want to talk a little bit about the free faction missions as well. So this is daily gold as well and something you should definitely take advantage of. Go to your faction rep real quick. You can see that you have three daily bonuses available. So if I do some of these, you're going to get 120, uh, 120 coins there, 135 coins there, and let's say just another 120. So you can actually get up about 500 gold from your faction rep per day. And then also, if you use these faction tokens to buy things like runes of holding, or the chunk of concentrated iron and sell them on the market more gold to be made so make sure you're doing your three dailies per day if you don't have much gold and you want to make a lot of gold right now i'm doing okay i'm at 263k i would like to have more gold though so i continue to do dailies or some of the dailies at the very least every day so those are most of the different ways to make money but there's a lot more so let's talk about just a couple more real quickly if you guys search chests every single day, and the one I like to do for this, if you guys don't know, is it is nighttime right now in New World for me, so I can't do this right now because the Kefri is going to be alive, but I do like to go to the Kefri and just loot those six or four, six, whatever, if you consider those two smaller chests, chests. You could loot those six per day, and you're going to get a chance at those you know, extra gold bags. You're going to get a chance at good loot, golden scarabs even maybe. 
uh, all of those in the Kefri, and that's why I go there and loot those every day. But if you guys want to, this is one of the best scarab runs you can do. We talked about this in our previous video. Scarabs are worth still about four to five k, depending on the server. And you start at these locations like this, and you go through every single one, and make sure to do this every single day because they have a 24-hour cooldown. You have about seven percent chance of actually getting a golden scarab and like I said it's definitely worth it because if you can do this in let's say 30 minutes and gain 4k every 30 minutes per day uh, it's definitely like I said going to be worth it and I've gotten up to three per day in one run before so imagine 12k in 30 minutes definitely do your golden scarabs run daily it's huge for gold uh, let's see what else do we have we have m10 so mutated 10 runs is a huge deal if you guys don't have a PVE set or PVE gear and you want to make a lot of money you need to get one and I have a lot of builds on this YouTube video, or sorry, YouTube channel, that talk about the, you know, different build mechanics you can go. My favorite, though, if you guys want to take a look, if you go to my YouTube channel, the thumbnail is going to be best DPS. And it's because I truly think it is the best DPS. It's the Hatchet Great Axe, and it's the most damage, a lot of clumping of these big mobs. And I use it for Lazarus, I use it for Genesis, I use it for everything regarding pve and if you do m10 runs you're going to find best in slot pieces that you can sell in the market for insane amounts of gold if you take a look here we go to the price of buy some of these have come from these dungeon runs it's crazy to see some of the best in slots like i said drop but you can get 300 400 500k depending on what does drop in these dungeons so definitely take advantage of that run these m10 dungeons if you get your gear up to 625 slowly and steadily you're going to get a lot of umbral shards which is nice but of course gold the main topic of this video you will get quite a bit of during those mutated 10 runs so that's a lot of the main reasons or main ways to make gold in new world if you guys have any others make sure to let me know in the comments below one more thing little quick tip if you guys didn't know real quick um so we have this sort of the champion i think we have two of these let's see if we do i don't know if we do have two of these so i can't really do it with that one i want to show you guys Let's see, if I go to Brimstone, I think I'll have a couple pieces that I have two of, hopefully. And I do. I have Stone Hewer twice. Or no, I don't. I don't have Stone Hewer twice. Unfortunate. I'm hoping to have two of one. Basically, we'll make a, vid a video about this as well. But if you can see here, we have this Sulfurous Roar, right? And this one is actually Bind on Equip, but I don't believe it sells for much right now because it's kind of a garbage legendary. But what you can do is upgrade this to 600, right? And if we upgrade this to 600... We do lose about 205 Umbro Shards. You can see that we had 2,000. We're down to 1795. If we do a quick salvage on this, we are going to get back to 845. Or sorry, 1845. So we're going to get 50 back. And we're also going to get a, in this case, Engineering Fragment, depending on what, sal what you salvage, really. So let's take a look at the Engineering Fragments right now. If we take a look at the bottom, uh, the quantity, one of one, Engineering Fragment. If we can find it, it is should be down here at the very bottom. Let's see, we have infused jewelry, we have armor, and I'm not seeing my engineering fragment to be honest. Should definitely be down here. Let's go to resources real quick. Is it resources? It's probably under resources, I would assume. So armor fragment, we might have already had in, yeah, we already had one, so we had two now, I guess, is what, what the problem was. Okay, so these are actually selling for 175 gold apiece, and I just crafted for what? 150 basically umbral shards i was able to get one of these so 150 umbral shards for 175 gold in my opinion that is well worth the umbral shard usage if you don't need them so definitely take advantage of that as well if you have a named legendary not from a dungeon you can just upgrade it like that and you can salvage it and that's how it works so hopefully that helps you a little bit with more gold as well Thank you guys again for tuning in. Make sure to sell everything on the market as that's how you make money. So there's a lot of great videos about that. And I'll continue to make videos trying to help you guys out and giving you guys guides on what you should sell, what you shouldn't sell, etc. But thank you guys again for tuning in. Like I said, we do stream on Twitch, twitch.tv slash iGraphicEye every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday at 6 p.m. Eastern. We will be missing this Thursday as that is Thanksgiving, of course. But I will hopefully see you guys all in the next one.